I'm a coffee holic. I want to talk to you today about how to make a perfect cup of coffee. This is an espresso machine. You'll notice, as it stands, it has two buttons. This is the power button over here. It turns it on and off. When you turn the espresso machine on, you'll hear that noise. Over here are two buttons, the one that gives you for hot water, one that gives you for steam. In the middle of it is the important button. If I turn this to the left, it will generate steam from the steam stem, which I'll use to steam milk. If I turn it to the right, it will pour coffee through this filter, and it will actually pour what's called espresso. The wonderful thing about espresso is the beans are ground very finely, and the filter itself has one hole, and so the machine heats the water very hot and forces it through the espresso filter so that when it appears in the cup, some people like to use uh, single ounce uh, shot glasses so that they don't get too much espresso, and those people are wimps. Personally, I fill this up about one third of the way which means that I'm absolutely, uh, totally insane by the end of the coffee cup. But what happens is, as it forces the coffee, or the liquid and the coffee through this filter, you get a really nice, what's called crema on the top of your coffee. It's like a, a, a super fine, bubbly mist of uh, delight. So, in a moment, I'm gonna show you how to grind beans, and then put the coffee in the filter, and then we'll go ahead and make a cup of coffee. All right, there's a few things you want to make sure of first. You want to take a look here. In the back of the coffee maker is a uh, box. The box contains water, and it's removable. When the box gets low, it should be filled up. You'll notice that there's a max line and a min line. If the line's above the min line, you can make coffee. I would ask that if you're going to use this coffee maker, that if the water gets below the halfway point, be courteous to others and fill it up. You can get bottles in the room with the refrigerator. Now, over here is the coffee grinder. What happens is, there's a button that you press directly beneath the spout, and when you press this button, it grinds the beans and will put them out here, outside of the, outside of the grinder. Now, the idea is to put the coffee filter underneath the grinder and catch the grinds. However, invariably when you do this, coffee will spill onto the catch plate and sometimes onto the counter or around it. So I personally, this is my own preference, because I believe in keeping this clean, I've established a habit. When I grind my coffee, I'm lifting up the grinder slightly and placing a paper towel underneath it. That way when I grind it, Anything that spills is easily cleanable. So I'll go ahead and grind this. Some people do it differently. This is my style. I just hold the thing and I grind. Eventually, the filter is going to get too full. So on top of the coffee maker is this little tamper device. And I use it to just press the coffee down to make it flat. Now, this particular filter is a double. This is a single. This is for whips. So now, you take this coffee filter arm, and beneath the coffee, or uh, directly beneath the top of this where all the controls are, is a locking mechanism. You simply slide the coffee filter up until it catches into the lock, and then turn it to the right. And you'll see there's a little instruction that tells you how to do that. Okay, now as I said, some people like to use these little shot glasses and you can fill them up, and that would give you two shots of espresso. Again, whips. This is a cup of coffee. All I'm gonna do is turn this on, and let the coffee start to pour in. I don't know if you can see, but right now it's coming through as a, in a thick, black, oily substance. This is the pure espresso. I like to let it run until it starts to clear out. And that's my personal preference because I'm a real man. Okay, now uh, 
it doesn't matter what order you do this in. I know that Sumi does this in a different order than I do. I prepare the coffee first, and then secondly, I prepare the milk. Um, I'm making a latte. As a matter of fact, I'm not just making a latte. I'm making a mocha latte. Uh, I've recently discovered that the vast amount of espresso that I put into my coffee cup is not enough. And so lately, I've been adding an ounce or two, an ounce or so of regular coffee, uh, which I believe makes this a cafe americano, but I don't really know. I just like the caffeine. So now, as you see, I have poured milk into the steamer cup, and I put about, I don't know, maybe one fifth or one third of the way up to the top filled with milk, and in a moment I'm gonna steam it. Before I start steaming it though, what I like to do is I like to purge the steaming uh, stem. And to do that, I just I put a, an empty cup underneath it so the steam doesn't spray all over the counter. And then I turn the dial to the left. One reason I purged the stem is that perhaps maybe there's something that was left over from the last person who used it. The other reason is because when I first turn this uh, steamer on, sometimes it squirts hot water for a minute, and I don't want hot water in my coffee, I already have that. So I wait until I get a good hot steam flowing from the steam stem, and then I make a switch. This coffee steamer should steam milk perfectly just by putting the tip of the stem into the milk and letting it steam it. Some people like to pick the, uh, the actual steamer cup up and rotate it, which also works fine as well. And maybe steams or, or, or builds up a foam a little bit faster. But while I'm building up the foam, what I do is I put liberal amounts of chocolate into my coffee. I scoop maybe two heaping teaspoons into the coffee, and then I whip it with my whisk. This whisk I got at a Japanese store that was going out of business. Uh, I don't know why it's so small, but it's perfect for this. I think you can use a larger whisk if you want. Before I got the whisk, I used a fork. Now I'm going to take my steamed milk and I'm going to pour it into my cup of coffee. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to lay it right over the lip of the steam cup. That way I won't immediately pour all of the foam that's been generated from the steam uh, milk maker into the coffee. What happens is just the hot milk goes in first and I'll use that to fill it up as much as I can and then I'll let the foam in. Now you can get fancy if you know how. I don't, and you can draw pictures with the uh, with the foam. I've seen people draw really nice pictures. Here is a complete cup of latte, americana, mocha, whatever surprise. Plenty of caffeine, plenty of milk, plenty of sugar. It'll last me all day. Let's make it a happy, clean, and caffeine. Thank you.